Well, during this uh, pandemic crisis, rules went into place forcing delays in the eviction process across the country. But those restrictions are ending now in many places, including in Wisconsin. Rafael Ramos is the executive director of the Eviction Defense Project at Legal Action Wisconsin, and he's with us live tonight. Tell us what's going on in, um, in the state of Wisconsin, particularly in the Milwaukee area. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks for having me. You know, we've basically seen exactly what we've expected since the end of the eviction moratorium, and that's that a lot of landlords have rushed to court to file the eviction actions that they were waiting on. Uh, basically, since the start of June, we've seen an increase uh, of eviction filings of about 21 percent when compared to last year. Uh, so we're starting to see indications of a wave of evictions that we were afraid of to begin with. Um, and our hope now is that it actually is just that, and it is a wave um, that the eviction crisis will recede, because the problem with evictions is that it tends to beget itself. It's a self-perpetuating problem that makes it harder and harder for people to escape, uh, essentially, a, the cycle of poverty. Perhaps this is an unknowable uh, uh, factor here, but how many of the evictions that have now come back into play after being put on suspension or under moratorium, how many of those would have taken place even if the coronavirus, the COVID, had not taken place? Do you have an idea? Well, I, think it, I think it's a really interesting question. You know, uh, again, the increase we've seen is about 21 percent. So let's assume that the other 100 percent would have been filed regardless um, you know, the, the main problem with eviction, the root of eviction is poverty, and that existed pre-COVID-19. The problem that we run into now with COVID-19 is that it's essentially shifted the line. You know, people who lived on the razor's edge of poverty before um, or were relatively safe before now because of the economic stress caused by COVID-19 find themselves on the wrong side of that blade increasing the number of people who are potentially being subject to eviction now. So we, we don't have specific numbers yet, but I think we're, we're starting to see an indication that more people are being evicted. Um, and that's also keeping in mind the fact that there's federal protections that are still in place. So there are whole groups of properties that right now evictions can't be filed against them. But in about a month, at the end of July, there's a whole swath of other evictions that are coming to add on to what we've already seen. A lot of the federal uh, Section 8 properties are covered, as I understand it, by some of the moratoriums or the protections. And are there loan programs that can help tenants bridge the gap uh, between, between getting a job back and, and losing their incomes? Are there such programs? That's a great question. You know, one of the biggest source, uh, biggest resource that's available to tenants now is CARES Act funding. In Milwaukee County, for example, uh, the county has used uh, the Wisconsin Rental, Wisconsin Rental Assistance Program uh, to make up to $3,000 available to tenants to pay arrears that they've accrued thanks to uh, the coronavirus. So there is money that's become available, um, and I encourage people to look at their local jurisdictions, the local service providers, uh, because that is the one upshot to the coronavirus is that there are a lot of people and resources coming together for folks out there.